Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to make this cool unfolding animation in Blender. So guys, first warning, don't use Ctrl Z, use undo. Uh, because by doing undo it will remove the groups and the animation, so you have to start it again, so please don't use it. So let's open the Blender. And uh, we scale it, this cube in edit mode by pressing tab key. S Z more S Z and S and we scale it in X and Y by pressing Shift Z. Okay, first let's enable the snapping S Shift Z and now let's move it in the X direction by pressing G and X. So we scale it in tab mode, uh, sorry, edit mode, so that the scale remain one, one, one. Now let's make grid with animation nodes. So click on new, and let's make grid by using distribute matrix, matrix, and distribute. So like a linear to grid, and let uh, replicate this object by using object instancer. Connect this with this, which automatically provide get length node to get the object. And we don't want to see the original object, so unmark this. And now let's so our grid is one, but let's set our objects on the grid. So object matrix output. Connect this and matrix and matrix. Now let's change the width. Like okay, that fine. And then to be the same 2.38. 2.38. And then now change the numbers of them. I uh, sorry, set to the step not size. Y division to be three and this two. Also, we as you know we set our pivot point to this okay and we can rotate around this it's like this so we have to set the grid in the x direction it will rotate like this to this to this to this okay also if we press tab mode it will automatically go all our objects in the edit mode so for fix that we need to enable the deep copy now you can see we have separated our object here. also they are overlapping so just change the x and y distance Also, we had increased the number of the X segment, so let's say 8. Okay, now our grid is formed. And so we want to animate to be like this lane, 3 lane, this to this. So we have to separate them by providing by in making groups of this lane. So select one object, B for the box select. Select all objects in lane, control G, and by this cube. Set the name to let's say one. This object, Control G, two, three, Control G. So you can use more number of object depend upon what you want. So for to to for today purpose, we are using small number of objects. Also, this length is in the group. Let's remove it. Okay, fine. So now set initial transformation. So select all the objects. That is in B, not this. this side and B. Now by pressing T key, go to here animation node, not showing. That's here it is animation. Initial transformation from current. So we have our groups. Let's make a list of the group first. Let's uncheck always and check on this so if you have a large number of objects so your animation or ui won't lag 
and let's make a list list create more object group we have three groups so three one two and three also we will get individual by making group so let's create group the program loop name it to groups to group mm -hmm. to groups to group and iterator set it to the group list now by pressing w key create a work node connect them now using object from group we will get our object list in the links so let's rotate or animate it by for doing this we use object matrix output connect them so if we connect them we will see all are at position 0 0 0 so we will use animation uh, initial transform to again form a grid so object id key connect them choose initial transformation connect matrices to the matrices for rotation we are using offset matrix select rotation set y to 180 and let's so let's see okay so it's in the wrong direction set it to minus 180 now okay okay by let's say doing good so use delay follow follow and delay set connect them and animation time info to the time now it's fine let's change them to be the same so that we can see the effect so we want them either this side to this side so we just need to inverse the list so list and sorry list Inverse, inverse, inverse. Reverse, sorry, inverse, not it's called reverse. So connect the object. Okay, okay. Now it's looking correct. So our animation is done. So we need to just hide and unhide the object. So let's say we so for the first so we set 10 seconds so first 10 seconds only this will be unhide and all the object will be hided and after 10 seconds this first and second object will be unhide and this all the object will be hide so for that we are using node called visible output visibility output let's check them and for that we are using we need to slice the list so list slice it connect the reverse list not the original list this is going to be for unhide so we do not check that these boxes again swiftly connect list right and just copy this and swift a object and visibility object connect them connect the list now let's see the list w viewer and w and viewer also not original list you know. so first object which is this list is about second object it's one and two so for the first 10 second this will be an item. For that, we need to animate the number. Swift animation, animate number, connect it time to time, animate float, start with the zero and then will be like what are the number of the objects. So 
So that's with a list and get length. Connect to the end. Also, the duration is the number. So length and the zero to length will be completed in 20 frames. We want to be higher, which is the length into the 10 times of the delay or duration, which is the same. So select a number math node and multiply by 10. Now it should be the duration. If we see the result, we will result. So the number is animating at every 10 frames. Fine. Okay. That's now. So first, first and second two will be unhide, uh, and then after 10 second five. So we need to animation the end because the start is zero. So just check the start and uh, set result to the end. Why it's not so okay? Sorry, if we set it to like one start and oh, sorry, this is frame should be like that. It is fine. Let's uncheck the start and connect the end so. If we see it is zero, but we for 10 seconds we need to unhide them, so just add one number 50, add one, just let's rearrange them. So don't you start with one, it will make it animation first is slower and then at the end it will become very faster. So just add one now. First will be object, first will be second will be unhide, so second object name after 10 seconds. Object will be an Now we need to make height rather than this. So for also check them and unhide them one to zero. So our list will be cut from the upside. So we need to we don't care about the end. So we cut from the start. So just Start value we need and connect this plus one to this. Not the plus one. Oh, that's very beautiful. Also, there is uh, we need to add this not the first will be this so that there will be two there is no it start with five All right. so our animation is done just okay now let's make the texture go to the end of the animation Let's just save that. Seven. For the UV enter, please don't move the view like zooming and panning around and another thing. It will affect your resist. So select one object tab. Select the face select mode. It is not in perspective. We want it orthographic view. And U and project from view. Second object. View project from view. Tab. Select the front face view, project one view. We need to do this for all these objects. So our underpin is done. Now let's set up the material of shader. Click on this material tab. Use nodes, select a new object, use nodes, and delete the diffuse BSDF. Add 
principal BS layer, load image texture, connect them. You can create any image like this I created. You can make it using GIMP or any photo editor you want. So load it. Desktop. Where you can see in preview. So now, now we have set for one object. So we need to link the, all the objects UV. So first set the UV image. So the input texture coordinate. So the UV. And now select all object. And select this in last. Control L. Control L. Name materials. So we keep set. You can see our texture is set, but we need to scale it. So add vector mapping. Select texture. Little bit of value. Set it to let's say 0.7 and change the location vector scaling in y direction next location Then scale it to more frontier. And then I just think the value location. And so on, X. Let's scale it in X direction. More Perfect. So let's set up our lights with the lamp and change the world color to black. I think now Swift C for the cursor in center. Swift A. Mesh, clean, clean, R, X, 90, click it up, scale it in the X direction, little bit scale in the Z, let's go up, and rotate in X direction, R, X, now scale in X, It is and I duplicate it swiftly now. Rotate in RX 90 and grab it. Not 90, it is grab it here. RX 90. set the material to emission. Let's see in the view. Also, let's set up the camera. Select the camera and check the lock camera view and set up our scene. Uncheck it. Select the one and let's say we've said. Okay, we need to a little bit of that our texture also. Put first time. It's possible to find or attach for an eye. 
Let's do it. And don't use control Z. Undo. It will remove the groups. So please don't do it. Just looking at it. Uncheck the camera view. Alt H. And for not showing your camera, select the object. Do the object property. Psycho setting. Uncheck on camera. Also, the object is showing so make it outline of plane and uh, not, not that cube. Okay, so, increase the strength, change the color. Let's change another. Now it's done, but you can see it's not, it's all doing the same for unfolding. So let's make it random. Go into the animation nodes, add set a number, and where is it? It is random. And connect index to the seed. So it will generate random number for every seed. So our grain have different numbers. Now first let's change the speed. Now first let's change the where it starts. So we need to just subtract it or add in the frames so that animation will be start a little bit faster or slower. And just Copy this. I will subtract it. Okay. Also connect this to the time. Now we will see it will be a bit slower. You can change from maximum value to let's say three. Let's set it to five. Now here I have different speed. So different we have started different intervals. Now let's change the speed. Again, copy the random number, connect the index. So, for random, it is also changed, so it's fine. And then for speed, we need to change this delay duration, also the duration of this. So, this we need to this delay. So, data input, and let's take the delay. And then the node. Subtract. We need to subtract so that its speed will be faster, not slower, because the ten will be the slowest speed. Subtract it. Connect this to this. Also, the duration also depend on delay. So connect this to this. It will change the duration of number. So our unhide object will be same speed as the follow. Now you can see it will be faster, and this last one is slower. It's looking nice. Also, you can change it by changing the node set. This one is faster. Okay, I set it to one on one. Okay, so you can change as you want. I will they are about the same speed. This will look great. So now our animation is done. All the thing is done. Now we just need to render it. So first change the PNG to the FL MPEG video encoding to MPEG4. Select the location you want, which is desktop. And then you can change frame rate if you want, but I will leave it is. Change sampling, they will choose like let's say 40. 
because we are using denoising and check mark this which will enable every seed at every frame so you are there will be noise generated every second every frame sorry also our animation is about 90 frames long so just set the frame to 90 set it to like 95 good and you can change the resolution as 1280 by 720 Perfect. And all things are done. So just click on animation and wait for it to be done. So our render is done. Let's see the result. And it's done. So thanks for watching the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.